In our secondary four straight lines two course, we have to see the effect of parallel and perpendicular lines on the slope. In this first example, we have a straight line with the equation y equals two thirds x minus seven. We know that the slope of that line is two thirds. We are using the y equals mx plus b form to find the slope of the line. If two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So to find the slope of a parallel line, a line that is parallel to this one, we have to apply this rule. We say m1 equals 2 thirds. m1 is parallel to m2. Therefore, the slope of line 2 has to also be equal to 2 thirds. This is called the justification. And you have to give the justification on the exam if you want full marks on your question even though the slopes are the same. Perpendicular lines work very similarly. In this equation, y equals negative 3 quarters x plus 2, we know the slope is equal to negative 3 quarters. We say m1 is perpendicular to m2, therefore m2 equals the negative reciprocal of m1. What that means is we take the fraction form of m1 and we turn it upside down and we change its sign. Since the m1 was negative, the m2 is positive. If m1 equals negative 3 quarters and m1 is perpendicular to m2, m2 must be equal to positive 4 thirds. This is also the justification and is a necessary step on the exam if you want to get full marks.